running for chair of the Republican National Committee joins us now. Harmeet, great to see you again. Uh, you know, everybody, virtually everybody in the Republican Party admits there's a lack of leadership right now. Part of it is because Donald Trump's not, not as, as forcefully in there as he used to be, and they're, we're looking around for leaders, everybody in the Republican Party. But Rand Paul thinks it's a matter of lack of spine, and I just want to play a soundbite of his and get your reaction. Roll tape. The omnibus will be 3,000 pages. We'll get it two hours before they want to pass it. No one will read it. But hidden in the 3,000 pages will be, we're going to waive PAYGO. So Steve Moore's right. It would take 41 votes. But the other thing is, 41 votes would stop the big spending. We have completely and totally abdicated the power of the purse. Republicans are emasculated. They have no power. And they are unwilling to gain that power back. Isn't the reason for that, for the lack of spine in the Republican Party right now, the lack of leadership, of solid leadership? Well, absolutely. I think Rand Paul is completely correct. And, uh, you know, David, no one's ever accused me of having a lack of spine. And so what I want to say is this is not about personalities. It is not about pointing fingers. It's about a reality that we have not won elections in successive election cycles. And I am looking at that as a Republican grassroots person who's come up through the ranks. I'm an unpaid uh, person at the RNC for my political work. And I see that if we don't change leadership now and provide a vision, provide a plan for dealing with the new laws about how we vote in this country, provide some strong messaging, and provide the leadership that is needed from a party chair when you don't have the White House, we are going to lose in 2024. And our country is suffering. You talk about it on the show all the time, the economy and so many other issues. We can't afford that. So I'm hoping that, you know, with, with the tremendous outpouring of support outside the 168, I think members of the RNC as well, we call us ourselves the 168 because that's the number of members voting on this issue, are beginning to come around. So the beginning of last week, mm. I had zero supporters because I had just gotten into the race. And now it's really taking off. And it's exciting. And I really hope that we have a good, clean race. And at the end of it, we have a strong leader of the party, because well, I don't think we have that leadership right now. And as you say, it is fertile ground. I mean, 81 percent of Americans now give the economy a negative rating. Uh, Americans want different policy from the ones we have right now. And and you talk to people on the street there, even it's Christmas time, of course. and. Everywhere people are shopping, but the fact is they're shopping less than they used to. We had somebody go out in the street and just interview folks. Let me roll that and get your reaction. Roll tape. 57% of Americans say it's been harder to buy presents this year due to inflation. Have you cut back on your holiday spending at all? Maybe I shouldn't admit this, but I know I have not cut back. Definitely this year, yeah. Very much so, drastically, yes. Yes, we're looking for the, the cheaper options now. Well, we don't even send Christmas cards anymore because our cost in postage has gone up. To kind of keep myself on a budget because I'm a college student, most items are more expensive now. I do a lot more window shopping now <laughs> than actual shopping shopping. So, Harmeet, how would you restructure Republicans to identify with those concerns of American voters? Well, that's easy. The voters feel that way. It's the elites in the party who don't get the message. And I'm not one of those elites. I came up through the grassroots. I hear it loud and clear because of my activism. I probably hear from thousands of Republicans every week. And I hear what they're saying. They're saying they want change. Every conservative commentator in the ecosystem is agreeing with that. Members of Congress and Senate have called me and encouraged me to continue this because they're concerned about the RNC not being able to win. I hear it loud and clear. And, and donors are saying the same thing, whether they're small donors who don't like the sort of types of, of uh, fundraising we're doing or large donors who stop giving to the party. I feel I can turn all of that around. So thank you for asking me, David. Armeet, best of luck to you. Thank you for coming in today. Appreciate it.